musical break and now we move on to our entertainment segment and from the music video we showed you I kind of have a clue of who we have in studio today I have with me the praise commander himself mm -hmm. uh, he's the person of pastor Kingsley Buedi that's right yes uh, thank you so much for joining us in studio so I'm um, just from watching the music uh, video and also learning about the fact that you are a praise commander um what was the concept about that do you have an army of praise worship or what is the concept behind the praise commander yeah, um, the priest commander is basically um, a stage name, mm -hmm. but um, there's more to that because um, as, as, as a Christian mm -hmm. and um, as a worshipper, you know, everybody has got a stage name like um, Sonny Badu is general, yes. <laughs> my friend Atabuavo is a warrior, yes. so when I was also coming, I said, hmm. <laughs> what can I also use? But, but, but I, I love I love to be in the army. I I nearly joined the army. I nearly was just saved the by the bell. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm like a soldier of God. So, yes, of course we are all soldiers. But you are we have rank, so you are the commander. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I command. And you then have, yes, you command. So <laughs> I'm, I was also wondering about the um just the outfit you had and the concept for the music mm, video because mm. it's very punchy, very mm -hmm. vibrant as praise music should be. Mm. Was that the concept you were going for? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, as a commander, you know, when, when what you wear also counts a lot because mm -hmm. when they see the costume, when they see what you're wearing, mm -hmm. it tells the story yes. itself, you know. Yes. So, yeah, it's also part of it. Okay. So, um, at this point, we've seen... Um, uh, Praise Commander, we know Pastor Kingsley Boydie, mm. but before I'm sure you were just Kingsley Boydie. So, mm -hmm. how did you get into music? What inspired your music? Um, I would say I was born to sing. Mm -hmm. I was born to sing. Um, I started from Akwetia um, with um, Presbyterian Church, and then from there I moved to further education in Accra. Mm -hmm. And then, due to that, I met Reverend Dr. Ampia Kofi. Mm -hmm. And um, I was his um, praise and worship leader, music director for Ampia Kofi, mm -hmm. World Outrage. So, um, I would say the music uh, is in my DNA. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was born to sing. Born, to, born sing, to sing, definitely. <laughs> and we find that with most gospel musicians, um, is it 
is it a calling you get especially when you start with your you know singing in church is it a calling you get or is do you feel that that's always been part of you praising and enjoying the praise and worship part of aspects of church yeah it's, it's a calling it's a calling i as i said i don't just i'm not um, a singer who preaches i'm a preacher who, who sings, sings. <laughs> you understand so, so you also preach too exactly oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I blessed yeah. person um, so, I, w can you just tell us a bit more about your music? Um, mm. What what inspires? We know it's a Christian, uh, you're mm. a Christian musician, but what inspires you, and what kind of message do you want Christians to get from your music? Yeah, my music. I mean, all the fourteen tracks I've got on my album mm -hmm. all talks about God. Mm -hmm. So when I think about any, how I get my 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 songs is amazing. Sometimes I'll I'll be asleep and then. You know, in my dreams, I'll, I'll wake up singing a song, mm -hmm. and sometimes too, in a circumstance, you know, I'm, I'm, I get songs out of so many things, mm -hmm. and um, I don't write songs, and I just go to the studio. What I've got, maybe during my quiet time, I'll get a message or something, and I'll go to the studio and say, no, let's do this. That's do impressive, because yeah. most people who write their songs, they go through the process of writing, looking mm. for the right words, but mm. if you're so inspired, you walk into the yeah. studio and you just make the yeah. music. That is definitely something that comes from a higher calling, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. So, um, how has the reception been to the music? How long have you been doing it, first of all? Um, this is my second album. Oh, okay. I did the first one in 2006. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this the second one. I mean, it's 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 okay. It's okay. It's okay. The first one, um, the push wasn't actually there, you know, in terms of you know, um, let me say money and yes. the payola kind of thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it it didn't actually do well, but the, the response was great. The response was great. Yeah. That's always encouraging. And um, how um, how has the reception been to your music? Because you said you had the first album mm -hmm. and now you've had the second one. How have your audience or your fans responded to your music? Yeah, um, it's amazing. And I will actually give the credit to Facebook, Twitter, and... Um, social media. Social media, yes. so to speak. Because um, um, we, we started from somewhere. It was, mm -hmm. it was a big thing, but through Facebook now, now when you go to Facebook you just you know type my name PK Boetti you know people will get to know me and stuff so mm -hmm. um so far and I've got almost about 5,000 plus you know friends on Facebook 5,000 uh, plus <laughs> friends on Facebook <laughs> yeah, you've got second page and you know so it's good it's good well if if, if, if anything if your album sales could translate into your friends then you'd be a very rich man I'm telling you every single one of them <laughs> then you definitely be having more and more mm -hmm, albums mm -hmm. so um also we have you collaborated with any other gospel musicians in Ghana and you're also based in the UK too yeah. Have you done any collaborations here and there? Um, not yet, but um, in terms of, like, let's say, programs and other stuff, like my friend Sonny Badu, mm -hmm. um, Atabuafo, Oh, Amen, okay. So, uh, Sonny Badu, you are called Boydi. The yeah, name is, is quite Badu. similar. <laughs> <laughs> he's Badu. He'll be in town maybe um, next next week or so. Okay. Yeah. And he actually, he's, like, blown up so mm -hmm. much. And he's, like, mm -hmm. you know, gone so much. What have you learned from his, you know, success? And how do you wish to emulate that also in your music? Um, actually, I always, anytime I call him, I, I keep on telling him that some of us are learning from him to be precise because um first we thought that gospel music cannot go that far yes. but looking up to him you know he won um um, um african gospel, gospel music, music and then that inspired some of us and but god being so good i also 2012 i also won the discovery of the year oh okay yeah african gospel music awards I okay so on a continental level you've also had some success yeah. there yeah. and what have you noticed about because you know in africa there's the problem of using in english but the problem of the language sometimes mm. is a barrier for us to enjoy some music mm. because with gospel it's also about the words we also hear exactly. we have to get inspired by the words but what have you noticed about the african like the african music scene especially um, gospel music where, where music has got no barrier yes when it comes to it doesn't matter whether you are singing in tree or it, sometimes i hear some of the swahili songs yes. nigerian songs and i don't understand it but the spirit behind the song you know matters a lot yes you know so um to me if if i give the song and it's in tree mm -hmm. I just sing it. You just sing it. Yeah, I just sing it. And I, I don't want people to kind of feel intimidated. Maybe you can't speak English or, you know, so you think your music cannot go far. Yes. No. 
the spirit behind the song matters a lot. The spirit, that's so interesting. The spirit behind the song, okay, definitely. So, um, you're based in the UK right yep. now, but you come in and out, you're yep. in Ghana, in and out. What have you noticed about performing outside and also performing in Ghana? How many performances have you given? And also, what have you noticed about the audiences, how they differ? Maybe? Wow. Ghana is blessed. You Ghana, know. Oh, wow. Amen. We Ghana is it. blessed. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Um, um, like yesterday, for instance, I was at Global Revival Ministries, and in the evening, I went to Family Bible Church. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. It was amazing. The way they welcome you. You know, Ghana, we've got something we don't know we have. Maybe that's it. We, we've, <laughs> we've, we've got something. The passion that we have for gospel yes. or for Christ or yes. for God is amazing. Yes, because yes. we've had several gospel musicians. I think William, um, uh, I William Mike McDo uh, came. Yeah, yes, yeah, sure, uh, I think uh, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. or a week ago, mm -hmm. and the response to his concerts was just amazing. amazing. Uh, just really wonderful. So we do have the the Ghanaian audience does have a thirst for gospel music, and we do appreciate gospel mm -hmm. music. So mm -hmm. how has your growth been in Ghana, especially? How has that been? Um, as I said, this is um, people have not actually those. Um, that are not on Facebook, yes. YouTube, and stuff. They've not actually heard my music, mm -hmm. but um, the few places that I've been to, yes. their response has been great. Has been great. Yeah. So, are you touring? Are you hoping to tour, do some performances in Ghana? And yeah, I've started doing it, but unfortunately, I, I will be going. You'll be going so. back. Oh, <laughs> but I can see you on ETV. They're like, I want to meet him. I want yeah. to speak to him. And now he's, but when can we expect you to be back in Ghana again, maybe performing? Um, hopefully, and God willing, next year. Next year. And yeah. where can they get your music in the meantime? Yeah, it's it on iTunes. iTunes, okay. Yeah. So, um, viewers, you've heard it from the Praise Commander. So I like mm -hmm. to call him Praise Commander because mm -hmm. I like that concept. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, next time he should come and he's in full Praise Commander gear. I will. And I'll salute him. <laughs> 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 so, uh, thank you so much to my musical guest for today. Mm -hmm. And he's in the person of Pastor Kingsley Buedi. Mm -hmm. And he is also AKA Praise Commander. Mm -hmm. So, thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. So, welcome. that's all we have for my show today. It's been <laughs> wonderful getting you all psyched and hyper this monday morning i hope i fed you with enough information and also help you wake up and get ready for monday this week actually happens to be easter so we would have some breaks and something for uh, looking uh, forward to by the end of the week so um i hope you stay tuned with me this entire weekend i'll definitely keep up with my job of keeping you awake every single morning have a wonderful day
Yeah, be ready. 